the rule with dog whistling is you got to fool two sets of people. <laughs> One are your liberal critics. He's given up on that. He doesn't. He doesn't give a shit about fooling yeah. us, right? Yeah. Th- that's we all hear it. Yeah. But the other is you got to fool your supporters. Because your supporters do not want to believe that they support you because they're racist. They want to believe that they support you because they are common sense patriots who love America. And this is what Trump is always saying to them. So when Trump refuses to repudiate the Klan, his supporters got to look at themselves and say, hey, this is a guy who wants Klan support. That's yeah. not me. I'm not a racist. And it's, this, it's in this way that Trump is still dog whistling, even when he says build a wall. He says, this isn't about race. This is about the fact that we don't know who's coming across our border and it's people from every nation and, and that's all. Yeah, yeah, it's not and about, when it's yeah, Muslims, yeah. it's not, you know, some of them are good people. Uh, it's okay, but, but, but we, you can't know, take we, the chance. we can't take the chance. We got to figure out who it is. And then if they're good people, we'll, we'll let them in. Right. Mm-hmm. He's very careful never to talk in color coded terms. He does not ever say, stand up and say, I am here to ask for your vote because I intend to defend the white race, which is currently embattled by a surging tide of black and brown people. 